And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time Mardi Gras Va Pedal Show. My name is Gabor. Wow, that's a thing. Hey, welcome on. I'm Alex. I'm going to check out some new crybabies cry today. This one in particular is the uh, Leo Nocentelli. Nocentelli, I think, I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope that's pronouncing his name right. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is the Mardi Gras a crybaby. Wa. Yes, in, in, in sort of joker colours. A little bit, yeah. Purple, gold, green, and, and Boy Scouts. Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Uh, please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up, ding the notification bell, and all that stuff would be fantastic. Help us do our thing. Yeah, so this was sent to us right from the start by the good folks at Jim Dunlop uh, Australia. Crybaby Jim Dunlop Australia. So thank you so much for sending this out. So Leo Nocentelli Crybaby. So for people that don't know who Leo Nocentelli is, he is the guitar player in the Meters. Yep. Possibly one of the sort of funkiest bands. I reckon one of the... I have him up there as one of the funkiest bands of all times, I reckon. Um, cool sort of single note... Mm. riffy stuff that he does and all anyway uh very well known for particularly one song that he uses well on which i might try and play a little bit later <laughs> sure. um anyway so as far as i know uh it's voiced a little lower yeah the sweep isn't quite as extreme like the filter doesn't go up in that super high yeah dog whistly type uh, frequencies and we'll later on in the video compare it to a standard crybaby so uh check the chapter marks if you want to see that but let's just start off just sure. seeing what it sounds like uh with oh. a humbucker style guitar so you know the setup we've got guitars going through the pedal into a Mostronics amp switcher which Andrew. is just a switching thing uh cherry tone uh ots mini 20 which is like fender dumbbell style amp set clean we've got two notes torpedo cap decks doing the irs for the cap yes 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 which is just a single 12 i believe yes and the clean tone after all that sounds like this this <laughs> Funky Alex, go oh, yeah. Funky Alex. Okay, so you, get funky, Funky Alex. It's just a straight ahead wah. It looks way more pimp than any other wahs for a start. It looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. I like the look of it. There's no switches, no uh, pots on the side of it. Nope. So it's just on and off as you would a standard wah. Yeah. <laughs> You can't help but do the mouth thing. And then when people draw attention to it, you feel really self-conscious about it. <laughs> feel like a spoon. So, it's a nice sounding wah. We had a quick play before we turned the camera on and we both said it's a no the sweep is nice. It, it's, mm. it feels nice. And that midpoint where it goes really focused, kind of like, I guess, it's a really nasally kind of thing. It doesn't go too extreme. <laughs> so it's hard to get wrong, isn't it? No, it's a, it's a good sounding wah. So let's try. I'm going to try. I'm going to, I'm playing this Yamaha um, Revstar RSS 02T in Sunset Burst, uh, which clean sounds like this. We sort of edge a break up. These are a little bit high output pickups, maybe in the nose. I'm on an egg. I'm going to attempt to play um, Just Kiss My Baby because it's one of the coolest, I reckon one of the coolest wah riffs. So it's that kind of lots on the bass. He sits lots on the bass, Dad. There's lots of that sitting really on the bass end. It's such a cool riff, and then the, and it goes to the A to that. Um, Super cool group. I love that. All right. Yeah. Well, that was that. Now that we're copyright infringed. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, just a sweep. Just that. It works 
doesn't behave the same. It doesn't have that super high end thing that um, that, that, kickle, 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 Tom that the Tom Morello one has. Yeah, yeah. you can watch a Tom Morello bar video there. Yeah. It's very different, isn't it? It is very different. <laughs> Well, that's sort of that kind of meter style, that sort of yeah. pentatonic-y kind of riff. Should we try it with a driven amp? Sure. Left one? Left. So that's just the same amp now, dirty channel. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of bass there, it's cool. It's I like that actually. It's not one of those like big uh, rock, squealy rock god, kind of rock god thing. It is definitely more for the funky kind of style. It's mature funky wild gentleman. Yes, for your yeah, mature. <laughs> the old mature funky wild gentleman. <laughs> Definitely more riffy, not so much the... Doesn't have that. Doesn't go high enough yet. But the, the kind of low note riffs sound great on it. If you try it with Have a spin drive. on the um, drive channel, yeah. Can I get some echo? See if we can get the rock god thing here. Because I'm that guy. <laughs> if you get the pick harmonics, you can fake that super yeah. high end thing. No. Yeah. Almost. Wow, what happened there? I think it's fretting out. <laughs> Lose echo if you don't mind. Okay. No echo. What about yeah. that? What about that? That's not mature, gentlemen. It sounds cool. Like Should we now Yo. compare it to a standard crybaby? Let's do that. Let's. And we're back. Uh, and we have, this is just my standard crybaby. It's sparkly red, but it's just a normal standard crybaby just in sparkly red. Um, let's compare them. Sure. Okay. First off, the uh, signature one. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely doesn't go as low. Yeah, and it goes higher, obviously. That goes higher, yeah. 
wheel. But I mean, in the middle, it's sort of a similar sort of sweep. But let, let's yeah. let's just try again. Hang on, let me let me quickly try it. Um, okay, so let's start with that one, and I'll just play an E chord, and I just go from the bass all the way to the treble. <laughs> Yeah, that's that one sits more on the higher end. This one sits more on the lower end. It just sort of shifted a bit. Yeah, and maybe even just tonally, like ever so slightly different. Not just that, but. <laughs> Maybe just it just because it doesn't go as far, it feels different. But that's sort of shaft thing, you know that. As opposed to. Yeah, so there's more sweep on the bottom end. Yep. It definitely it, it lives more in that. It definitely likes that stuff. Yeah, it's just that real vocal mid range. Very, very. It doesn't go yeah. up to this. Yeah, Super yeah, yeah. High, yeah. sparkly. Um, that's cool. What do you guys think? Yeah, let us know what Comments your thoughts below. are on the Leo Nocentelli Mardi Gras. Yeah. Uh, um, gentleman Funkwa. <laughs> no, what was it? Gentleman. Classy gentleman? Classy gentleman, whatever it was. Something <laughs> <laughs> I forgot already. We forgot. We've got to listen back to it. Uh, I, I think, well, I, I, I dig the way it looks and I like the sound. Yeah. I do like the sound of it. I like that. I like I like funky stuff and I like the sort of lower note single yeah. note funky stuff and it does work well in my opinion I think I like how it doesn't go too high so you could actually probably never get yourself into trouble by getting with drive sounds you probably can't get into trouble being too glassy or yeah like bright and harsh yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah um, comments below what do you think yes do you dig do you prefer the standard one there's more videos coming please like and subscribe because there's more videos coming more special crybabies on the yes, way. Yes, lots of other crybabies coming, so uh, there'll be there'll be lots of crybabiness. Fun S colored, S yeah, lots of babies crying. Uh, lots of cry crying babies. Uh, and on that note, thank you so much for watching. Big thank you once again to Jim Dunlop uh, Australia for sending this out to us, and see you in the next one.